Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was risen from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all this back to the Word of God to show how we're nearing the end of days. Today we're going to head over towards China and show how China is part of the Revelation 13 beast out of the sea. The dragon. The dragon has many countries and different individuals working with it. Some evidence shows part of the USA also. Behold, a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns. These ten horns are as like ten kings, ten world leaders around the world. And seven heads, up to, up to seventeen different nations, countries, and world leaders. And they all go off to fight Jesus Christ. This beast out of the sea. Well, today we're going to show how um, they basically influence people. The angels that fell, that rebelled against God, many of them are considered to be as archangels. They have ships. And the angels, however you wish to see them, from alien looking to just spiritual things, they can link up into people and that's how many things are controlled around the world. Part of the beast that we're all fighting is considered to have one mind like legion the demon that is many but is one the ten horns what thou sawest are ten kings which have received no kingdom as yet but receive power as kings one hour with the beast these have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast these shall make war with the lamb with Jesus Christ just as with this stone man Douglas shooting where this one shooter here said he kept hearing voices in his head Suspect spoke of demons talking in his head, driving him to do killings and bring terror, and as well as all the way on to world leaders and different wars and things that are happening all around the world. A type of influence. So let's show how they do this, how they link up. It's even shown in our movies because as we show on our channel, the whole world is as a matrix. In the movie called Alien Covenant, it shows these alien engineers running everything through their chairs and their arcs and they just link into humanity the same thing was shown in the matrix movie that from their chair they just jack in and jump right inside of people become what called hitchhikers or riders or even drivers depending on the level it's also shown here in the United Nations this is the United Nations with this one glyph in the back and it shows over here the door for Jesus Christ and up here, an alien engineer. See him there? And it has a lot to do even with the Vatican, working through these mirrors. See him right there? This is an actual picture of Graham Mountain and Lucifer Telescope, the woman riding the beast. Right there. Right in the United Nations, it's all mapped out, showing how they jack into and control people all around the world. There. So let's go over and show this, but it's actually mapped out. It comes back to the angels and the archangels considered to be as architects. This is Beijing, China, and the spiritual part involved. Beijing, when it's rearranged in the way that the spirits work, that means I be Jin, I be Genie, a Jin. That's what Satan is considered to be, a fiery smoke spirit that can inhabit humans. Well, down here, Beijing, it actually shows the beast. You can see Satan sitting right in here. And he has a microphone. He's sitting right in there. This represents the beast with the feet of a bear. And he's controlling people. It shows him right here as this hand and controlling people. The whole earth is created. See the robot like arm there? You can even see a sword in there. 
representing a sword. Now you can go all the way down, and it's all designed. The whole earth is like this, even where you are right now. And now you can see the arc. That's one of the things that has to be done at the end times. We have to get rid of Satan's ark. And Jesus' new ark. And the Bible is called the ark of his testament. Jesus gets a new ark. And now over here, you can see how they're doing this. And now they're linked. They actually have what looks like a telephone. That's the best way that the symbolism is used for it also. See the telephone right here? Temple of Heaven. This is how the angels and the archangels and the fallen angels, the rebellion, is going on. See Temple of Heaven? There is a rebellion of angels trying to stop Jesus Christ. There's the phone. That was shown in this movie repetitively. They just did this, then they turned on a phone and they just jacked into somebody right through a phone. Zoop, like an iPhone, which is also the crazy symbolism of your eye, the window to the soul. An iPhone. You are a phone. That's what it means. iPhone. You are a phone now. They can just jack into you. Your eye. They can see through your eyes. That's what the whole world is a created thing. Even the iPhones and everything has been given to us, more than likely, from the architects, the archangels. The good and the bad. So there's the arc right there. And there's the phone. And that's as in the Bible it says, you battle not against flesh and blood, but against but against spiritual wickedness in high places. The powers and the thrones positions of the fallen angels. The, the rebellion is still going on. See, they called down, link up, jack in, run all the earth. So that's what's going on. All the countries show this. This is mapped out in the USA also. This thing in England, Saudi Arabia, and all around the world. It, it, it controls the world. Now you jack in the alien engineers, the archangels. Right there. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. This phone is used in many ways. For a verification, I'll show it right here on another glyph, on an actual Mayan glyph shows that phone on there. This is the original Mayan glyph that had the supposed date on it. For many years I kept showing that it, there was no date. Not the circle one. Not this circle one. This one here. Right here. This one. And it actually has Jesus Christ and the this is supposed to be the eagle. See the eagle right there going up? And the Bible talks of an eagle and then the wheel of the great tribulation. And there's the phone for the souls to go through. See the phone? That's the phone right there. See how you can even dial in? Here's somebody being translated through into the phone. The translation. But that's all on there. We don't know about any dates or anything. I don't. So there we go. That's how all this is done and how they lead people astray and keep all the world going in different things and control all the different world leaders and the battle between there. I'll see all of you at the wedding feast of the Lamb. May God have mercy on us all. Hallelujah.